being safe. Um, so we're all here to learn Python and we'll try to uh, engage and then learn as much as we can during this course. I'll try to make this course as interesting as possible. So just, uh, you just have to be patient with me for the first couple of days or uh, till you get a hang of the syntaxes and then you'll be like doing it yourself. Uh, and before diving into the course, just uh, let me introduce myself. Well, I have a master's degree in computer science from Texas A&M University. Uh, and I'm currently working for a health insurance company in Richmond, Virginia. So um, we work on various projects on AWS, on cloud, and on big data stuff. Um, and then I also have a, a experience working for startups in Silicon Valley. Uh, I worked for a couple of startups and we built uh, several apps. And then um, I have a certification in AWS. I'm an AWS certified cloud developer. So if you have any questions regarding cloud using Python 2, you can reach me out. And then I have experience tutoring high school students and then college students. Um, so I've been tutoring them for a while. And then um, currently uh, um, I'm working on big data platforms and stuff. So uh, um, I'm working everything based on Python. Like I'll be uh, uh, interacting with the uh, cloud or um, big data using Python and stuff. So let's get into that. Um, so what is programming? Or why should you all learn programming? Um, uh, so like, wh why do you want to uh, do programming? That's what my question is. Um, so uh, before diving into that, uh, let me make clear, if you have any questions, feel free to drop in the comment box or uh, we'll have a, a QA session uh, uh, in the last. So you can ask me anything about questions, about the presentation, or whatever you want uh, in the last. So let me take the presentation. So what is programming? So why do we need programming? What can we do with programming? So a computer program is to tell or give a computer a set of instructions on what to do or what not to do. Uh, without instructions, a computer is a dumb piece of uh, hardware. Without instruction, your computer doesn't do anything. Um, it doesn't know what to do, basically, without programming. A program is like just, just a set of instructions which we are telling computer, okay, do it this way, do it this way. And uh, um, it, is the, it, it are those uh, instructions that makes us, uh, uh, that makes, uh, use, uh, that makes us uh, useful for the computer that makes the computer useful for us. Let me just show a quick example of what those instructions are. Uh, for example, yeah, uh, for example, uh, you use Google every day. So, so, um, what do, what do you have? So this is a set of instructions. This page especially have a set of instructions running uh, behind. So if you want to see the set of instructions for this page or for any web page, you can just use control U and then you can see. So these are all the set of instructions running behind this, this specific page. So the same way every web page or everything you do have a set of instructions running behind them. So now, programming is now we know what is programming and why do we do programming we're just telling computer what to do and what not to do so these are all the instructions that are running behind this specific thing and next um, um, you all know Steve Jobs who's my favorite so I just wanted to quote his quote in the in this class so he, uh, in one of his presentations, he quoted, everybody in this country should learn programming. It teaches you how to think. So um, like this quote inspired me a lot. So I just want you guys to just understand what he's trying to tell in this quote and then get inspired to program. Um, so what we do, uh, what he tries to tell is, uh, 
uh, if you learn programming, it, 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 you are getting smarter. You're thinking in a smarter way. You're thinking like, okay, how do I tell my computer to do this? How do I tell my computer not to do this? How do I tell my computer I should get this done at this point of time? So it, it, um, it teaches you how to think. It teaches you like the way of thinking, how you have to interact and stuff. So let's get a little more detail on programming. So the interaction of machines and computers, the automation of tasks, the creating of intelligent machines. Uh, so everything like uh, uh, I, I showed you just a presentation for a web page and then um, I uh, showed you like or what are the instructions that are running for that web page. Um, and then programming is crucial when it comes to learning uh, to innovate, create eco-friendly solutions for global problems. So everything um, nowadays is uh, uh, turning into programming or turning into automation. Everything you do, uh, they are trying to uh, convert it into uh, programming and automate it. So uh, if you, there are uh, people working on creating robots uh, which work the same way as you are working. So you can show the robot uh, uh, cleaning the house today and tomorrow if you are not at home, it can clean the house by itself. So that is where program is, programming is going. And then programming is important for speeding up of input and output process of a machine. So let me give you a quick example for that. So, uh, I'm asking my computer to just uh, print my name. So, uh, if I have this uh, statement written just once, I can ask the computer to write my name n number of times. If you ask my, if the, if you ask computer to write my name a million times, it will write. So, just see, uh, just see. See, I asked it to write six times and then it wrote. Or you can just have this command and then run multiple times, it writes multiple times. So you can do anything. Basically, you can make your computer do, you're the boss and then you're making your computer to do, okay, you do this for me, you do this for me. You're saying computer what to do, basically. Um, and you can do a lot of uh, uh, calculations um, and then uh, all the stuff. So Let's assume there is something called uh, A as five and you have to do your math. So you, how do you multiply? You assign A as X as some variable and Y as some variable. Here we are assigning A as one variable and B as one variable. And then uh, um, we can uh, just see the sum of it. See, we just got the sum of it. So it makes your job easier. So you can assign n, n number of variables here and then you can get your output within just seconds. So it makes your uh, uh, programming important, uh, uh, calculations and everything so easy. And then it uh, also helps you in processing the data. So why Python? Why do we, why do we use Python? Uh, I don't know, this is going back, okay. Why do we use Python? Um, there are a lot of different programming languages. C, C++, Java, C Sharp. So you can, you can use any programming languages. Why specifically you are choosing Python? Um, as a beginner, especially. You're like, uh, I'm assuming most of you are beginners and then just uh, learning coding. So why do you have to start with Python and what are the benefits you get? What are the perks you get if you are uh, starting with Python? To begin with, you can do anything with, uh, within, with it, from web app development, from uh, making simple games to data science. So Python is a universal language. It has very user-friendly syntax. Its language uh, is very plain old English. If you know English, you, know, you mostly know the syntax of uh, Python. And then it is very approachable by users of all ages and experience levels. There is no specific age and, or a specific thing. Usually people say uh, uh, eight as a uh, beginners uh, people to learn uh, programming or Python. 
but uh, I say um, you do not have to have a specific age. You can learn from eight to like when you're 62. It's like very easy. If you know English, you can uh, just learn Python. And then for the potential career benefits. So Python developers can expect to make around uh, 100, 150K uh, dollars a year. Even if the money is not the most important thing to you, uh, being a developer gives you a lot of flexibility in your kind of career. Like, um, let's assume like all of you are students. So how can it help in your career? You can make your math homework. So um, uh, after this class, uh, when sending you the presentation, Satish will send you the uh, doc. I mean, presentation, um, a video of Tanmay Bakshi. So you can just go through it. He started coding when he's four. And then he's 16 year old now, like he has given multiple presentations, multiple tech talks and stuff. He has his own apps and stuff. He's developing Python. He's working as a software engineer for uh, IBM right now. So uh, he's a very inspirational story. Uh, you can just uh, uh, see and uh, uh, go through that video and then understand like how easy the coding is and, and uh, how uh, the end guy is coding. So even if you don't want to become a software engineer, like you're learning in Python in high school or middle school, even if you don't want to be a software developer, Python can be uh, useful in a lot of ways. If you want to build your own company, you can make your own website. Or if you want to make a mobile app for yourself, you can make it. So you can do a lot of different stuff. You can automate all your jobs. You can let your, you can code and then ask your uh, uh, computer to do your homework. So you can do whatever you want. And then, it is widely accepted as the best programming language to learn as first. So because it has a very easy syntax, it is widely accepted and it, it is very fast and very easy to deploy. So as I sh just showed you, uh, it's very fast. Like uh, you give the input and then you just get the output like real quick. You don't have to like count or do anything. It, within milliseconds, like point not one millisecond, you get the output. And uh, some of the famous websites that rely on Python are YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, SurveyMonkey, like a lot more, a lot of websites run. So um, if you just do a Google search, uh, if you just type something, uh, let's say Python, you can, there is a backend program running on Python. Like Google is specifically using Python for their search engine. So there is a program running on Python to actually display you this page. So that is uh, how people are using, the extensively people are using Python. So uh, it'll be very useful for you to learn Python at this age. And um, it's, 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 it's the same language, like very uh, other programming languages. Every language is a uh, set of instructions that you are giving to Python, but it's a, uh, so why do we use a language? Let's assume uh, I'm talking to you in English. So we are communicating in English. So uh, we have to communicate with our computer. We have to ask our computer, okay, do this for me. How do we do that? We do that using Python programming language. So that's a language our computer understands or our machine understands or hardware understands. So uh, we are asking our hardware or our machine or uh, our computer to do this for us. And in the case of programming language, there are uh, ideas are commands that people use to communicate with a computer. So uh, uh, these are set of instructions or commands, as I said. So I am uh, so here. I'm asking uh, my computer. My I am giving my computer a command to print what is five plus six, or just say print what is five multiplied by six. You get the answer within. Uh, milliseconds and running a program means you're telling a computer to read the text file translate it into a set of operations that it is used and uh, understands and perform those actions so this is a text file and these are the instructions uh, I am giving to my computer so um, if I if I run that thing, yes, let me show you. So these are, these are the set of instructions I'm giving my computer one by one. I am asking it to run. So if I run this, 
say it is just a drawing a star. I asked my computer to draw a star. Like I told it in, a, in, in, the, in their language, in Python programming language, in computer's language. So I asked it to draw, a, a draw it with a red border and I'll fill it with yellow and then a background color blue. And then I asked the screen title to be sky. So let's see. So see, I, the screen title is sky and then background is blue, the border is red and then it filled with yellow. So that is how, um, uh, th th those are the level of instructions. We're just giving, uh, uh, telling computer, this is what I want. And then it's just doing uh, that, doing specific things for us. And then why Python for kids? So uh, most of you are high school students or middle school students. Why do kids have to learn Python? So you must have worked or you must have told like, uh, I've developed a lot of games on Scratch or I've developed like a lot of games using this things, the, like the other stuff or other uh, uh, things. But then like at some point you want to do uh, uh, some specific thing, uh, the program, I mean, you need programming. So if, even if you develop something uh, in a drag and drop and all blocks, uh, using blocks and stuff, uh, there, there is a backend code uh, running. So you have to understand that code and then that makes your job way easier. And then that makes you develop uh, way more advanced games. And then you can do a lot of animations and a lot of uh, other stuff. So uh, let's assume uh, uh, you want to do a game. Uh, you are working on one game and then uh, you want your game to be uh, acting this way. You didn't like the game that is acting that way and then you want it, your, your game. So just say you're doing something and then you're rolling a dice in the game. And then you're, uh, game says uh, uh, five and then you j you do not want your dice to give five you just do not want your g dice to give five you just want numbers from one to four so you can do that using programming you can ask your dice to just give numbers from one to four rather than five or six you do not need five or six so you can all you can achieve all this stuff using programming you can develop your own animations so uh, we'll be working on a lot of animations and a lot of uh, and simple games uh, during this course and then this is a very beginner course So I'll be teaching you very basic and very scratch how to talk with computer How how do we ask computer to do addition subtractions multiplications and stuff? Um, so what kind of animations can we do? Uh, let me show you a Quick animation So see this is like three plus three, six lines of code, and then you can do a beautiful animation using this. See, we, are, we will do all these kinds of stuff in, uh, during our class. Uh, this will be like a lot of interactive sessions. And then trust me, I'll try to make a class as uh, interactive as possible and uh, uh, I'll give you as much as information as I can give you, and then I'll help you as much as I can. And then you can develop your own games. So let me just show you uh, a small game that I have developed. Uh, Just give a second for the game to start. See, this is the game uh, I have developed. So I, 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 we can develop like these kind of games. I've asked this, uh, uh, I have built different blocks and then I'm asking, uh, I am controlling this uh, red block with my keyboard and then as the score increases you can see uh, the, the speed of the blocks increases so this is how we will be working and then we will try maybe like similar games like these or small games we'll be trying to develop uh, and then there are a lot of different modules that are available in Python 
So see if you can see the speed of the blocks coming are increasing. So, so you can do a lot of stuff using Python and your own animation and it can never overgrow. You can do a lot of stuff. You can invent, you can create your own new game. So you are playing, you play a lot of games, right? So uh, you have an idea. So this game isn't good. If this is the way uh, the game is, I like most, I like more or people will like more. You can develop your own game. And then just let, uh, let's see a brief uh, history on how people, uh, I mean, how Python was created and then um, who created Python. This guy right here, uh, Guido Van Rossum, he created uh, Python. He's the, uh, co he conceptualized Python in way back in 1980s. So he uh, was from Netherlands. He was working at CWI and he developed Python. It's Python programming is basically the next version of ABC programming. ABC programming is like previous version. And then the first uh, release was in 1994, 1.0. This is the stable release. And even before that, we have a release of 0.9.0 .0 in 1991. We'll be working on three point, Python 3.0 during this course. So, uh, uh, which is released in December 2008. So we'll be working on Python 3. So there are quite a few uh, differences between Python 2 and Python 3. If you guys have worked uh, already on Python 2, uh, there will be a few differences like syntax differences between Python 2 and Python 3. If you have worked on Python 2, uh, you don't really have to give this uh, uh, brackets if you are uh, printing a statement in Python 2, but in Python 3 you have to. The, like there are very minor uh, changes. We will talk, to, we'll talk through them while during the course. And then what else can we do with Python? What can we do with Python? We can develop desktop applications. Um, so as I showed you, um, if, if I'm presenting this PowerPoint presentation to you, I can have, uh, we have something in the background running uh, and saying, okay, do this. That is the reason our hardware or our computer is doing that. So we can develop a lot of desktop applications. And then these are all different com um, companies that are using uh, Python, website developments. So as I showed you, this is the code, this is the HTML code to just display this. But then even to display this code for us, there is a Python script running in the back end. So uh, in current scenario, people are using extensively, Python is being used extensively. It's easy to learn and then people are using extensively. So I would highly recommend you guys to learn and then you can design your own uh, games, you can uh, do your own homework. Okay, let me tell you a um, uh, story, um, how it can do or like, uh, I was talking about this guy, Tanmay Bakshi. So he learned programming when he was four, like his father taught programming, but then he was very bad with his tables. So he developed a program to teach him tables. So he developed a program to teach him tables. Uh, so, and he developed a lot of programs to do his homework or to uh, just do his daily chores. Uh, so that is how people are using programming. Like he did all this when he was nine years old and 10 years old. So trust me, you guys can do miracles or like you can, can do magics with programming. And then networking and ethical hacking. So uh, you can develop networking and ethical um, one network. You can build a whole network using Python and deploy, deploy it in one region here. And then you can use the same code and deploy the same network uh, in a different region in California. Or if you want to develop in Hong Kong, or if you want to develop in Australia, you can develop with the same code. So you don't really have to change. If, it, if you're not using, um, so you can do all the, uh, networking using Python. I'm currently working on developing a network using Python and AWS cloud. So uh, I'd be like very much interested to take questions if you have any questions using uh, developing this and doing this. And then you can develop different games as I just showed you. You can develop several games and then you can develop internet applications. Um, so let's say you have your, uh, thing uh, here and then say Richmond. So this map here um, gives you a location and then like all the information here. 
So there is a program or there is a Python program that Google is using for uh, to display this picture and then this things for you. And then like if you hit directions, um, you can just uh, select something and then to navigate that because Python is very fast. So if you are uh, looking for a map and then you have a starting point and ending point, you just go, okay. Our map displays the route in like minutes. So, so that is how fast uh, uh, a Python program can run and then show you the results. That is the oh, that is one of the reason like people use pro, uh, Python programming. It's very fast, and you can do a lot of uh, different things using Python. And then uh, this is one thing uh, which will uh, which you will be which will excite you guys. You can do a lot of different things using these libraries. And then you don't really have to uh, do everything from scratch or tell your computer everything from scratch. Especially for Python, there are a lot of built-in libraries. There are around 220,000 plus libraries using uh, uh, in Python. So uh, you can use these libraries. You can make use of these libraries and do uh, wonders. You can do whatever you want. Like, uh, uh, for example, Turtle is one of the library uh, we uh, we can use and then create graphics. This is the library we'll starting uh, we'll be starting our course with, and then. Um, we can be uh, develop this uh, program. This uh, animation is completely developed by uh, using turtle library. See a star and then a, a big star and then each edge have a star and then its edge have a star and then its edge have a star. So all this was developed using turtle. And then you have for a uh, GUI interface, you have a Kinter and then we'll have Pygame to develop your own games. And then if you're dealing with numbers or your, uh, if you have some equations or matrix multiplications to solve with, you can use TensorFlow, Pandas, NumPy. Um, and then if you want to display your graphs in your homeworks or if you want to display your projects in your, uh, uh, graphs in your project, you can use Matplotlib. We'll be going through some of these libraries because they're like, we can't go through all the 220,000 libraries. So we'll be going through some of those libraries during our course. And uh, like we'll also have a extended version of this course where we'll be uh, having we're talking about more libraries and then more complex problems or uh, more complex stuff. And then during this course, uh, I'll try to keep this course as interactive as possible and then as easy as possible for you people. So um, we'll do a lot of different stuff. We'll do animations. We'll do try to do our homeworks. If you, if you guys come up, like I have this homework, I wanted to do this in uh, computer programming, we can do that. Or uh, I can, uh, we'll be doing uh, multiplications, additions, and then um, we'll be doing uh, animations, we'll be doing games. So uh, we'll be doing a lot of different stuff. Uh, and then um, this will be exciting. So first one week, uh, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's the same way here. So uh, rather than writing print, uh, if you want to write it Lakshman once, uh, it's easy to write Lakshman rather than print Lakshman, right? So it'll be tough when you are writing the first time to write this rather than just this. But then if you write this once, you can run this n number of times. So if you just hold on like our bare uh, first uh, pass through like a uh, first couple of sessions, uh, it will get easier and you will be excited. You will come back and learn. Like I want to do this using programming. I just uh, am lazy. So if you guys know, most of the programmers are lazy and then uh, they, what they do is they just make their computer uh, to do their work and then they just relax. So I can uh, tell you a funny story about uh, uh, these, uh, uh, this guy. So he used to work Monday to Friday, uh, nine to five, eight hours a day um five days a week um doing his uh, working on spreadsheets just doing the same thing every day and he's so lazy and then he has an idea of programming so what he did is he developed a small program because he does the same work every day so he developed a program and he asked the computer to do that program for himself so he just goes every day in the morning and just runs that program and then computer does that work for him so he doesn't have to do any work. Just computer does the work for him. Uh, he is relying completely on computer to do 
uh, works. You can draw, you can paint, you can create your own tools to draw, you can create your notepad. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff using uh, programming. So yes, this is one of the things uh, uh, we can do. Uh, let it, let's assume, um, um, so let's assume we are buying, a, a, we went to a store, we went to Walmart or HEB, uh, HEB or uh, um, Target, and then we got some stuff. Let's assume uh, you got a pencil. I'm, I'm trying to give an example how a Target, because Target is uses some machine and then when they scan your barcode, they just get the price and stuff. So how do they do and then why, what do they do behind their systems? I'm trying to give an outview of it. Uh, we'll talk briefly and then more, we'll discuss more of these kind of scenarios during our course. So uh, just listen. So what, what uh, Target or what Walmart does is they assign their costs uh, before that. And then beforehand and then they, they give it uh, there and then when you go and buy something they when they scan your code uh, it just knows it's a pencil or it's a pen right so what they uh, what their system do they are not sitting and calculating adding it like one plus two plus three plus four they are not adding that thing as soon as they as soon as they enter they have their uh, answer out so what do they do behind what what is the computer doing behind it's just adding so what it does is it just adds. See, it got your total. This is what uh, uh, a Target or Walmart or what our people do. And then if you use paint or if you use different stuff, um, let me show you a few examples. Uh, we'll be going through these kind of things in our class too, but let me just give you a, a different examples. So see this, I can control this using my uh, keyboard. I'm asking it to draw a square or just move it, move it, move one step forward, two steps forward, one step forward, three steps forward, come back, come down or move down. So you can do like a like lot of different stuff. See, you can, do, you can draw whatever you want and stuff using this. Like I'm just using my keyboards, like top arrow, bottom arrow, right arrow, left arrow. So I am using those arrows and then just drawing these, just drawing these boards using like different squares and stuff. See, these are also exciting, right? So this is the library I was talking about. And then just, let's just see what this library can do. See, it's just drawing those different things. You can draw a line, line, and then you see a turtle here, and then you see the size of line. You can draw different sizes of lines. You can draw a small line. You just didn't draw anything here, and then you can draw uh, lines with different colors, uh, and then you see a turtle here. So you can change this turtle to different things. And then um, you guys all know trees and forests, right? Let's let me show you a tree that we can draw using the same turtle library. See? That's a tree. Like we just drew, we just draw, drew a tree using a library. And uh, let's see, uh, Let's see different shape, uh, shape, some shapes we can draw using this library. See, we are drawing different shapes using this library. Different shapes, I mean, like we're drawing circle and then every circle with a different color and then we're drawing a square with black color. These are all set of instructions. I asked, uh, I asked my computer or my, uh, computer to do this for me. So these are all the instructions I gave my computer to do, and then it's working for me. 
So we'll make it work. Let's see uh, how we can draw a forest, how we can draw a forest. See, this is all greenery and then the top one is sky and we need forest means we need trees and then this is the road between it and then see we're just drawing forest so we'll we'll, we'll be doing uh we'll be doing different things we'll be drawing rainbows we'll be drawing circles uh we'll be drawing uh, hectagons pentagons and then a lot of different stuff see i'm not i'm not drawing it's like if you want to draw sit and draw this it will it will take like hours and hours See, I just I just went here and then clicked run and then it, it all did by itself. That's the reason, like this is the reason. It is fast, it gets your work done really quick. See how, uh, how easy I drew a forest. And you can, um, you can do your, uh, just your notice board. So this is like, uh, so you, all you guys use notepad or like to uh, type something or uh, draw something, right? Uh, so what is this, uh, what is the thing running behind it? See, I'm just drawing it or uh, I'm just like, see, this is just, this is the code running behind it. So if you want to run your, that's what you do in your paint. You take something and then see it's like hardly 10 or 15 lines of code uh, or these are 15 set of commands I am giving my computer. So uh, all it has to do is, uh, when I when I drag it, it has to like move. See, or I want to draw a circle. Or, like I'm bad. Okay, see, uh, this is all uh, you can do with this uh, ten or fifteen lines of instructions. You can do uh, all these things, and then um, let me really quickly show you a tree, like a realistic tree, how a real tree looks. Yeah, you can do the forest thing to just yeah, see how that's coming up. See, it's a branch and then like leaves and stuff coming up. So these are all different things we can do using uh, uh, Python. And then if you want to do a different shape or if you want to do a different things, you can do like after the first two classes, um, uh, you will you can you'll come up with oh same idea Lakshman I did this how is it you can come and show me like I'll be so excited to see your uh, views see these are all different stuff uh, you can do uh, with things and then coming to uh, uh, programming see oh uh, this is uh, this is what you can do to like let me quickly show you this takes time because it has to draw a lot of stars. Uh, but let me show you uh, how it's done. So I'll try to make this session as interesting as possible. Um, see, it's like 10 lines of code to draw the whole uh, set of instructions. And then there are a lot of uh, commands, a lot of cheat codes, let's assume like, um, see, it's like drawing a star of stars of stars. So this is how it goes and then it keeps going. See, a star of stars, and now it draws here, and then it goes and goes like that. So you can do a lot of different things like this. And then when the whole, when the whole thing is over, um, it will look something like this, like a star of stars of stars. So it's like drawing the specific thing right now. Um, and uh, I'll try to make this session interesting as possible, and I'll try to uh, give as much details as you can uh, and I'm assuming uh, like you are all very beginners and you are uh, uh, like you do not know anything about programming. So that is how the programming course will go. If you do not have, there are no prerequisites for this course. You can just, uh, if you know just English and then if you can understand me, uh, you can just join this course and then I'll teach you uh, doing different stuff using programming. We'll do magic do, uh, using programming. And uh, if there are, a, um, so let's see how far did our tree come, see? It's, a, it's, a, it's a going. And then you can do a lot of uh, mathematical syntaxes, like you can do your uh, um, 
uh, addition, subtractions, multiplications, or you, if you have mat matrix multiplications or matrix additions, um, all the stuff can be done. And then there are a lot of libraries that are uh, available using Python. So uh, you can do whatever you come up with the idea and then I'll help you do that. Um, I'll, I'll guide you what you can use, what you can do and what you cannot do and stuff like that. So this is how um, our uh, course, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, this is how our course will uh, look like. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll teach you installing the Python. I'll teach you drawing simple commands, simple uh, shapes, and then filling colors with it. And then I'll teach you how to talk to computer, how you have to do addition, like how you have to say computer, do this addition, do this subtraction, or you can do a lot of different things. And then we'll go through conditions like uh, if, 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 the, if your answer is to do this, if your answer is not to do this, we'll do a lot of different stuff using that. And then we'll go through some modules or some libraries, and then we'll see writing of functions. And then um, we'll do, a, uh, finally, like after all, uh, we cover all our topics, we'll do a lot of different projects, and then it will be interactive projects for us. So uh, you'll be asked to do a project and then we'll see like, okay, how you're thinking and then what way you have to think. I'll, I'll guide you. Okay. If you are looking at this, you have to look at the solution or if you have, you have to look at the code this way. So I'll, I'll guide you in all those ways. Um, and uh, that is the, uh, that is it from my side. I'm really excited to teach you all. So how excited are you to learn? And then if you have any questions, uh, please ask me or uh, yeah, you can ask me any questions. And then I'm also working on machine learning programming. So I'm, treating, I'm trying to teach computer how to play rock, paper, scissors. Uh, so if I can complete that before the course is done, I'll display you, but it's a lot of work, but you need advanced concepts and stuff. You can cover them or you can see them. Uh, if you have, if you, if you want to learn advanced concept and stuff, but then if I can finish that project before I finish your uh, tutoring you guys, I'll try to display you in one of the sessions. I'm trying to teach computer to play rock, paper, scissors. I, I show my hand with rock or paper or scissor and computer recognizes it and says like, okay, I am using rock and then we both use rocks, go again. Or I'm using scissor and then you using rock, so you win. So we'll do that kind of things. Uh, I'll try to show you, but uh, I'm not sure if I can finish that project before I finish tutoring you guys because I'm assuming you guys are smarter and then um, learn quick. So yeah, that'll be it. And then if you have any questions, ask me and then, yeah. Do you have any questions, guys? I'm really excited to teach you all. Yep. Uh, hey, Lakshman, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much for the demo. So I think a few people, a few kids are uh, uh, like asking questions in the chat box. And, oh, okay. Uh, even though like, you know, it's time for uh, open for our questions. If anybody wants to uh, talk, maybe we can unmute or they can unmute the mic and they can talk too. And yeah, sure. Uh, uh, please free to, feel free to ask questions, guys. Priyam, uh, uh, just wanted to like, you know, once we are done with this demo, we will send you all the details regarding the course, uh, how to enroll and uh, when this is going to start and uh, uh, the, uh, how many days we have a class per week, everything you will get an email. Uh, a straight up here. Regarding any technical questions or anything related to the course, you can you can talk to Lakshman. And rest all, maybe we will send you any detailed email. Yeah, I have a question. What are libraries? So libraries are different modules. So you're asking your computer to do uh, A plus B, right? You don't really have to ask your computer to do A plus B. They are already done in the library and then you can just ask your uh, computer, what is some of these things? And then it, get, it just gives you the answer. So okay. they're all predefined, so they're all done for you previously. You do not have to uh, ask your computer to build from scratch. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. I have a question. Huh? Um, 
with a simple course called Python, like uh, there's multiple libraries, right? Um, in those libraries, is it possible to make like a very complicated type game? Uh, for example, a battle royale type game where people where, like the public people, like people who are like different around the states get to like play in the same game and like able to like, you know, do multiple confusing codings. Uh, are you able to do it with like a simple free course or like uh, do you have to pay the certain type of course to do it? Like not the course, like the libraries, like. The, uh, the libraries are, uh, most of the libraries are free. So you do not have to pay anything. But I can guide you uh, at Sanizud, right? So I can gui uh, guide you some things or some libraries I can guide you to help uh, develop you some games. But then you also have to understand or you have to know like what do you want? What, how, what, what do you want your computer to do? Your computer can do uh, anything you want. You want, you want your computer to uh, play with uh, like move right, move left, when to, play, when to move right, when to move left. You can tell your computer. And then especially coming to your things like uh, interacting with people and playing, you can definitely do it. But then uh, for that, you have to know networking. That's not only Python. Networking is like, how do you connect with one person to another person? You can definitely do it with Python, but you have to understand networking. You have to do networking using Python. So do you get what I mean? So networking is like a completely different scenario. Um, so it's like connecting different people. So you talk, you talk on a phone. You, now we are connected through this, right? So there is a network going behind this. So you have to tell that network using the Python code what to do. So you have to understand how that uh, network is working or how that network is designed. So uh, that is how deep you have to learn if you have to create that kind of games. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody else? Yeah, if you have like these questions or these kind of uh, ideas you want to work on, you can definitely ask me. I can suggest you, okay, look at these libraries or look at these things. And then you will have a lot of, uh, and then especially why are we learning Python is you have a lot of material available online. So uh, for, the, uh, for uh, Anirudh's question, uh, let me quickly show you. Let me quickly show you um, Anirudh. So these are all the syntaxes or this is the documentation uh, for uh, this very uh, specific thing, Anirudh. Uh, you can go and then read all these things and then like uh, you can utilize like whatever you want and pick up something from them and then uh, like take those up and then uh, uh, look whatever you want like look up whatever you want and then um, uh, use them and then build on it there are a lot of different things available you can do uh, addition in like four different ways so uh, that is how flexible python is and then even like running a python uh, I'm running from my command prompt here. You can run Python pro code uh, in like three or four different ways. You can run on a Python code here. I showed you like three different ways. I ran, I ran one code from my IDE. I ran one code from my command prompt. I ran one, uh, just wrote a simple node document and then saved it as py here and then ran it. So these are all different ways we can uh, run our Python code uh, and then uh, during the course, we'll talk more of it and then we'll talk different shortcuts. Uh, uh, and then I'm assuming you guys are like uh, uh, very basic of it. And then this course will be very basic. And then if there are, uh, uh, if after this course, even if you want to, inter uh, if you are interested and if you want to know more, um, you can talk to Satish and Satish will guide you on those things. But then uh, this course is so interesting. And then trust me, you'll learn a lot uh, from this course. Yeah. Any other questions, guys? Yes. Um, are you going to teach us networking? Oh, uh, no, not networking. I'm just going to teach you uh, Python now. Networking is basic. like a whole different concept, just basic uh, Python programming. Oh. 
What does it mean to like animation? Like just moving pictures? So you can draw different pictures. So I showed you this picture, correct? You can draw pictures like these. And then I show you different stars. You can draw sky with stars, or you can draw a rainbow, you can draw a flag. Uh, those are different kinds of things you can do. Like all the things you can do using shape, uh, paint, or uh, all the things you can do using drop and do uh, dropping of boxes and stuff, you can do using coding, how you can do. Because they, are, they all have, like even if you are dragging and dropping a box, there is a code running behind it. So you will know what is the code running behind it now. Oh, okay. Yeah. And also, how hard is it to make a program that actually does your homework for you? How hard is it? Uh, uh, it's it's a, how hard is your homework? Oh, okay. So if it's like just a simple additions and multiplications, <laughs> uh, you can just see. So so you Absolutely. you keep here A and B, and then you can go and change different numbers. Like whatever number your teacher gives you, you can change, and then it gives you the output. <laughs> So, so easy addition and multiplication with python now Thank yeah you. so you see you already know addition and multiplication with python but then yeah definitely come up with your homework and then we will do yeah. it using uh, that can python. Be fun. yeah uh any other questions uh, looks like uh, uh everybody's good uh, uh thank you very much thanks for your presentation today um hope uh I'll reach out to everybody to take their uh, feedback and inputs and uh, we'll, we'll uh, get started with the class of maybe next week, okay? Sure, sure. Thanks everyone, thanks for joining uh, for the today's demo and uh, we will we'll get in touch with you uh, for uh, further details about the course. Yeah, it's nice okay. talking to you guys. I'm so excited to teach you all and sure. yeah. Thank you guys.